Axe Body Spray was an industry shaker, splitting the difference between deodorant and cologne. And the spray did not spare a chance to remain at the top of the game. And even though Axe carried out several ads for print, TV, and radio, not many people realized that the company was targeting insecure men. But how did they do it so successfully that Axe Body Spray became a major brand which any man would want to associate with? In today's video, you'll see how Axe managed to bulldoze itself to the top by targeting insecure men with their spray. Anyone will agree with me that indeed Axe's approach to marketing has always been brilliant and unique, making their products irresistible. As much as their tactics appear simple, it turns out that Axe has managed to do it so well that they always win the attention of their targeted audience. And one of their most successful tactics that brought Axe to the limelight was not even the product that they were advertising, but rather the target group that they were advertising to and the way they did it. The way Axe Body Spray managed to capture the attention of insecure men, leading to the widespread use of the spray, especially among teenagers, is just amazing. In fact, it shows the incredible lengths marketers have to go to to learn all about their consumers. But what trick did this multi-million dollar fragrance brand use to manipulate the minds of men so easily? Well, Axe was born in 1983 in France under personal care behemoth Unilever, and it picked up well under the tagline of a bottled sex pheromone. But by the time Axe was launched in America in 2002, sales of Axe body spray were not pleasing and the brand needed a facelift. As a result, the company decided to contact the advertising services of the London agency Bartle Bogle Hegarty. And contrary to what the company expected, the agency reasoned that in fact, sex was not even the missing ingredient in Axe body spray ads. They realized that the sex pheromone idea was appealing to everyone. And when you appeal to everyone, you appeal to no one. So they had to figure out who to particularly target with their ads. And so the agency had to do a study of men out to bars and observe them as they tried to pick up girls. In the process, they were classifying them into different potentials based on consumer needs. At the end of the study, they realized that Axe was too general with its ads. They concluded that they, in fact, didn't need to advertise to the already confident male because this category was outgoing and ready to win women by themselves. But they realized, a another group of men who really needed help winning the woman of their choice. This category consisted of the awkward, average man who would spot a woman of their choice but had no clue how to win the lady they wanted. They are the nerds. That means any idea sold to them that would help them to win a woman is worth dying for. And so Axe will not have to spend much effort in selling their Axe body spray to this group of men because it offers an instant solution to their insecurity. They profiled this category of men who formed their main audience as the insecure novice. But diving deep, you get to realize that this group of nerd men are teenage boys who fall between 15 to 18 years old. These young men are just emerging from school and they're craving confidence. A majority of them are very insecure and afraid of their perceived immaturity. Indeed, such a person can do whatever it takes to get a hand at anything that can guarantee them confidence and make them feel like a real man. But more importantly, but more importantly, win that girl that they've been eyeing. And that is exactly what the Bartle Bogle Hegarty agency wanted to achieve with the Axe ads. So next came the ads themselves under the Axe Effect campaign. The strategy of the Axe Effect campaign was to create an illusion that once you spray the Axe body spray, any woman would fall for you. And the very first TV commercial by the brand to use this strategy was crafted. The ad depicts an awkward young man attending a cocktail party who eventually turns charming and confident the moment he applies the Axe body spray. Eventually, the man conjures an imaginary vision of adulthood. Several other ads came later, some involving how a single application of Axe body spray can help a young man get chicks. And considering that one of the male fantasies is to be irresistible to several sexy women, Axe body spray just blew up. Teenage boys could not be separated from Axe body spray. If you lived in the 90s and early 2000s, you can bear witness that Axe was the sole body spray among young men. Considering that the spray was overpowering and priced as cheap as $4.99, literally any young man could afford it. Almost all schoolboys carried Axe body spray with them to school with the hope that ladies would find them sexy because they were wearing a new scent. And as many young men continued to shop for Axe, so did the profit margin for the company soar through the roof. This eventually made Axe the number one male antiperspirant or deodorant brand. The brand became so popular that losing brands started associating with it to ride 
on its overflowing success, all thanks to their decision to reinvent how to sell sex and whom to sell it to. As you can tell, Axe offered no real utility when it comes to actually picking up women, but the way the company coined its grammar of seduction is what attracted the nerds to this body spray. I mean, any insecure man will go for the product since it promises to take any insecure man irrespective of age and make him feel like he is the king of the world by simply introducing a new scent that drives women wild. The Axe Effect campaign was indeed a major success for the company, save for some high school kids who started misusing the spray. Instead of using the Axe body spray for refreshing their body, they started dousing themselves in Axe, and this is what got the brand in trouble with some school's administrations. Even though insecurity was the driving force behind the success of the Axe Effect, it turns out that the same insecurity was eating the brand from the inside, and it had nothing to do with the school's admin but the diminishing sales. The Axe Effect campaign suddenly weaned off after several years of success, and by 2013, the rate of global growth was already on the decline. Unilever was so worried, and it wanted to understand what might have changed. Was it that young men no longer wanted to associate with the Axe Effect, or what was going on behind the scenes? This is what prompted Unilever to embark on another study to understand the reasons behind the decline in sales. The study was conducted on about 3,500 men in 10 countries, with the goal of understanding conceptions of masculinity and self-esteem. But at the same time, the brand wanted to understand why the Axe Effect was no longer appealing to men. At the end of the study, the brand realized that some men felt sidelined by the Axe Effect campaign, which seemed to only target insecure men. And the fact that the brand was being associated with insecurity meant that its sole purpose was to appeal to those who are uncertain of their masculinity and public image. Therefore, the other category of men who were kind of self-confident had no reason to purchase Axe body spray because they knew what it takes to make themselves attractive to women without having to use Axe body spray. Additionally, Axe body spray was already bringing out a bad image as a tool for the needy to the level that people started to associate them with Axe, and a majority of the high school and college age young men were keen enough to notice this. They too considered the brand as a tool for the pathetic losers. That means Axe was not, in fact, making sales to the young men it initially targeted. Eventually, Unilever's management realized that women were not tools to be prized, and so they had to rework their campaign strategy to save the failing brand. And that's when the company came up with the new campaign in 2016 under the tagline, find your magic. This was to reassure the public that the sole purpose of Axe was to empower its audience on their goal of finding what makes them special. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content.